Hi, this is Ryan from Silencer Central here today to show you how to change the pistons in your Banished 45 suppressor. The reason you'd want to do so is because of the differences in caliber ranges that the Banished 45 covers. Again, it works on anything 45 and smaller. So, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you have your firearm safety checked before you actually work on it. So we're going to make sure that that firearm is clear, which it is, as well as this firearm as well. Perfect. So, first thing is, you want to go ahead and remove the piston from the suppressor itself. That's going to be on the muzzle side, the side that you actually attach to the firearm. And then we're going to determine what thread pitch we require. So just to give you kind of a brief rundown on some very common thread pitches, most of your 22s, 380s, and 9s are going to be all half by 28. A 40 and a 10 mil is 9 16 by 24, and 45 is 5 7 8 by 28. You will have some metric variances in there for some guns that are manufactured overseas, but if you need any help with those, you can definitely give us a call and we can walk you through that process. This is a CZ Scorpion. This is a fixed barreled system, which means that I actually need a fixed barreled spacer inside of my suppressor instead of the spring that it is supplied with. Main reason behind that is we don't want to have that slack to actually get you into a spectrum where you could have a baffle strike. So we're going to go ahead and remove that spring and then install the fixed barrel spacer. The spring is gonna go first, and then you're going to install the spacer itself. And that slides on just like so. And then you'll take your suppressor and go ahead and reinsert your piston and reinsert the end cap itself. Now that's ready to go onto the CZ Scorpion, which is chambered in nine mil, so that is a half by 28 piston. When it comes to anything else, like your 40s, your 45s, or any semi-auto systems, you're gonna go ahead and utilize the spring that is supplied with the suppressor. So you can remove your fixed barrel spacer and go back to the spring, and then that's going to allow you to run it on something that is semi-auto, like this M&P 9 mil right next to me. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Otherwise, make sure you check us out at silencercentral.com, and we appreciate your business. Thank you.